Welcome to PS3 Gamer Nation. For gamers, by gamers, reviewing only PlayStation 3 games from disc to downloaded. I'm Sean McCoy, and today I'm going to be looking at a downloadable game called High Velocity Bowling. Let's get ready for bowling. High Velocity Bowling is a mellow bowling game with funny and quirky characters available to play as. This game is rated E for everyone, 10 and up. It's time to bowl. This game has decent graphics for a bowling game. The bowling alleys are bright lit with glossy lanes. Really, there's not much to a bowling alley. Now there are different variations of lanes to match the persona of each character in the game. Character animations are nice and keep the game feeling light and fun. The graphics get 6 out of 10. Now moving on to audio, sounds of the bowling alley, ranging from either the ball rolling down the alley, hitting the pins, or into the gutter. Well, with little to live up to, it does a good job. Characters usually have a witty remark, either you make a strike or a gutter ball. Throughout the game, the background music is a light, jazz, that you might find in a lounge with a couple of martinis. Which, if it gets on your nerves, you can just mute the music or adjust what sounds you want to hear more than others. And it gets a seven out of 10 for audio. Now for gameplay, this game has great control with great execution of the six axis controller. It may take a minute or two to fully get used to the feel of it. Simple controls really, do the natural movements of bowling, Swing your arm. The couple of exceptions are do not let go of the controller and you have to use L2 or R2 if you want to control the amount of spin. This game is a very intuitive game that is really fun to play and does not take long for others to pick up and join in the fun. This game gets a 10 out of 10 for gameplay. Now as for multiplayer online, just like in a normal game of bowling, you have to take turns and play in order. It is nice and convenient that each player can use their own controller and not have to pass around a single controller. There's not a lot going on in the multiplayer mode since you have to just sit there and wait your turn. Alternatively, it's better to sit on a couch than in a bowling alley plastic bench. As far as the online goes, it is regular bowling with just people over the PlayStation Network. Now there is three major differences though. First off, you can't see the opponent's character wind up at all, just the ball going down the alley. Secondly, there is a five minute time limit for the whole game for each player that runs down throughout your 10 frames. And finally, the most natural is that it tracks your stats online. Multiplayer online gets a seven out of 10. Moving on to replay value, really, bowling is an old game that is, just has some lasting appeal whether you go to the bowling alley once a year or play in the league. This game uses intuitive controls with the six axis, making it quite easy to pick up and play. Just like real bowling, a simple motion of swinging the ball seems simple but still remains challenging. I found the game's regular bowling element to be solid and a good choice to play with typical non-gamers like relatives. Additional options are things like trick shots where you have to perform given shots within a set number of balls. Also, other options are challenge mode, where you have to unlock different characters by beating them in a round of bowling. I wasn't a huge fan of trick shots and found myself being bored after the fifth or sixth round of tricks. As for the challenges go, after unlocking three characters, I didn't find the ambition to go and unlock any more. 
Replay value gets a 6 out of 10. And finally, this might be the only bowling game for the PS3. Most definitely the best bowling game for the PS3 so far. And can't really see where the actual gameplay could be better. Other than polishing here and there with additional options. One of the best uses of the 6 axis controller thus far, integrating it directly into gameplay. Again, well done. I could not imagine playing a bowling game without the 6 axis control now. Now it does take a little bit to get used to the speed you can actually swing the controller, but really isn't that big of a deal. One or two frames should be all you need. Overall, it's still a bowling game, but a good bowling game at that. Just look at it this way. Instead of going down to your local bowling alley once, you could buy this game. Final score, 7 out of 10. Thanks for checking out our podcast. There's now audio and video podcasts available at ps3gamernation.com. Be sure to email us at ps3gamernation at gmail.com for questions or comments. You can go to the forum through our website or directly at ps3gamernation.net. Because in the end, it's for gamers by gamers. This is PS3 Gamer Nation. This is PS3 Gamer Nation.